BGD crew, it's Wes. <laughs> and John. <laughs> it is uh, January 8th right now today, this afternoon. We just arrived, just arrived at Epcot. Today is the very first day of Festival of the Arts. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's one of our favorite festivals out of the four because, well, usually they have like the Broadway singers and stuff, but not this year because it's, it's still COVID season. So uh, we're going to go <laughs> and see what they actually have. I, I think they have the murals still in the chalk art from what I heard. But, mm -hmm paint mural yeah one yeah. of our my favorite one of my favorite things is uh the 3d chalk art that happens on the mm -hmm. the pavement all over the park so we're gonna go in see what's new see what might be missing from last year and what will be back next year but for now just enjoy what's there today so mm -hmm. thanks for coming along we'll beautiful see you inside yeah, yeah. it is a beautiful day mm -hmm. chilly but beautiful <laughs> hi thank you thank you <laughs> Yay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. Hi. Hey, so we're just noticing the mural, the mural painting is back. <laughs> okay, we're in line to get our paint. Almost there. Hi, how are you? Welcome. I'll pick up any color. Any like. color? Yes, any color you like. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, what is this one? This is black. You like black. Okay. Oh, in the brush? Yes. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Seven, 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 seven. And he we said five, five, right? Five squares a person. Okay. So we each paint. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, John. Did I do that? Yes, of you course did. I did. Yes. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Seven. Eight. Oh boy. I want it to be a little neater at this. Or even got to the Let's canvas, see. I think you failed at that. So. Hey, <laughs> I'm not an artist. I'm not this kind of artist. Oh God, now I'm going over. It's not a coloring book, you know. <laughs> this is my fifth, my fifth square. So those are my five. I don't think it's supposed to be perfect. It's cool blue. It matches your shirt, actually. I'm getting it all over me now. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. So this is six, right? Yeah, so five squares of number six. Yep. Let me try not stepping on paint. Six. Oops. Oops. I think I went over too. See, I'm not the only one. It's because I it think I'm mixing oopsie. yours. Oh, because that, that one's, one's still wet. <laughs> That's okay. I don't think it's supposed to be perfect. All right, two. I think Disney knows it's not going to be perfect. Well, no. Right? That's why it's like the big picture from afar, you're going to see it more. Yep. It's two, I have three more. You guys will be getting a picture, a card with the actual picture of what this whole entire mural will look like once every square is filled in. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is the painting. This is the whole... Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. 
Cool. Yeah. Okay, we did it. We got to find John some turpentine right now, though. <laughs> Sorry, babe. A lot of figment art over here. There always is for Festival of the Arts. Figment. Figment's the mascot. Wow, cool. All this wasn't even here a couple days ago. Which one? The wings. Oh, butterfly wings? Mm -hmm. Oh, John sees butterfly wings yeah. over on the, the wall over here. Oh, wow, that's really cool. The butterfly wings. Okay, you found them. Go get over there. John's going to put on butterfly wings for all of us here. I have I have a responsibility to continue filming this vlog. So you go you go put those wings on. It, they match you. <laughs> That's actually really cute. <laughs> That's very cute. So this is one of our favorite things. This is actually my favorite thing at Festival of the Arts is the 3D chalk art. We're going to show you guys. So this chalk artist, he's still he's still working on his, but I think we can actually have a picture, maybe, with his art. So the idea is if you stand right here where the marker is. John, I think you should be modeling this. The effect is actually going to create a 3D, well, a 3D effect. I had that wrong, actually. You stand here to take the photo. And then, let me zoom out a little. You see it's actually in 3D. Wow, very cool. And he's still working on it too. Here's another one. Actually, it's the same artist. What is his name? Nate Baranowski. Nate Baranowski. This one is... That's really cool. It's Bell's Enchanted Rose. Wow, that's cool. Yep. Wow, you can really see the 3D effect. Wow. I think it'd be neat, like when you go on the side, you can see what it looks like. How Not long it is from the side, here. yeah. That's the side view, so you guys could see, you only see it in 3D when you're standing in that one spot that we were at in front of it. I love Sorcerer Mickey. That's all chalk. book art. I love you to death, but this mask, there's something about the way it was made. It does not fit very well, and the wire inside is in a really unusual place. So anyway, I'm changing my mask. That's the point here. 
Oh, much better. That's better. We can continue now. So we're gonna do one lap around World Showcase and see what other Festival of the Arts stuff is going on in each country, which is probably gonna be a lot of snacks. Fortunately, we didn't come here hungry today, which is good, but we will see what's out there. But that doesn't mean we won't come back and be hungry for snacks. That's true. We'll be hungry later. And we can come back. Yep. Hello, Norway. There was a line to get into Mexico. It's like they actually have a sign now for the Mexico uh, pavilion, like they like they usually have those signs where they say line starts here for the rides and okay. stuff. They actually have one for the to get into the pavilion. <laughs> it's crowded. I don't know. It's I didn't crazy. think it would be this crowded. More than a week after New Year's. Wow. So this is the painted panda. Quick service for Festival of the Arts. John really likes bubble tea. Which they do have, but what do you think? That's overpriced. Oh, that's a little overpriced. overpriced. You can get one for wow. like three or four bucks back at home. But we're in Disney World. And welcome to Germany. My people! Don't I always say that? Don't I always announce, declare, my people! When I wa we walk into Germany? No. Yes, I do. They're my people. Okay, we did a big lap around, one big lap around World Showcase. And we had an idea. Since there's something we haven't done, we haven't done on a vlog yet. I think today would be a good day to do it because I think there shouldn't be a long line, a long wait to get on. And that is Mission Space. We have not vlogged yet on Mission Space. Let's go check it out. I haven't been on that in a while, actually. And it is also, in fact, time to put on a sweatshirt because it is cold out here. It got really cold. I think it's sweatshirt time. Just passed another artist here. I had to take a look at those paintings. Snow White and Pinocchio. Those are awesome. That is so pretty. Wow. The artist is there actually signing, signing his artwork. These are awesome. I really like these. Here we are, Mission Space, and from what I can see, I think the wait time is five minutes, is that it? For the green Looks one. like five minutes, and For we're the, going to the green one. The orange one is an hour. Green versus, oh, wow, an hour for the orange. Okay, you guys, if you're not familiar with Mission Space, there are two versions of Mission Space. There's the green version and the orange. The orange gives you a feeling of having zero gravity, but what it's doing to get you there is spinning you round and round and round and round at a super high speed. Well, it's G-forces. It's not zero gravity, though. The it's what? G-forces. G not zero gravity. I totally have that. Yeah. G-forces. I wasn't good in science, but anyway, I do not do the orange, because all I know from my experience with this ride is that I know that John's dad did it, once on the orange and got off the ride and threw up. Well, my and that was enough for me. so much older than you, too. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so we will be doing the green. 
He, he's made an authoritative decision. I have no say in the matter whatsoever. You can go he, on the orange. Well, he's never wanted to go on orange. I won't do the orange. I do have to say, I like the, the video in the green more because it's updated. The orange one's still the old one with Gary Sinise, but it's, it shows kind of its age because the new one's a lot better video-wise, but I think to have the experience, you need to do the orange at least once. And my experience is that green is enough. So on that note, I'm actually going to switch this over to the GoPro and we're going to go into mission space. Really cool in here. Haven't been in here in a while. Right for you. We strongly encourage you to select green team, less intense training, or proceed to the advanced training lab, which offers all three. Yeah. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another, even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet, training. You're here today for flight training the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. Protocol set, we're go. Nine, three. Candidates, you have selected green team, less intense training. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for direction. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Okay. Okay. Wow. And firing thrusters for your descent. I'm a commander? Yeah. You're a pilot? Pilot, the X-2 is an excellent ship. Your job will be to train. All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey around the planet.
Clear. Mission accomplished. Good work, team. I haven't been here in so long, I forgot about all this stuff. What are these seats for over here? It used to be some kind of game that they had, but I don't even know if they, they're going to do that anymore because it looks like it's all... I don't even remember that. Yeah. There used to be kids running all over the place in here, but yeah. like it's, there's nothing now. We're the only kids running around in here. It's like a ghost town. Wow. Oh, this is all interactive stuff, right? They all were interactive stuff. They have a... ID tag engraver here though. So like I know Jody, our friend, she wanted to get one for one of her dogs at Magic Kingdom. So I guess in Epcot, this is where it is here. If you wanted to get like a dog tag or something. She got one of those Mickey head ones with oh, that's cute. bear stuff on that's it, right. remember? I like Mickey as an astronaut. That's cute. Thank you. Okay, so there's a something hidden, like a little tidbit here at Mission Space that some people may know about, but I don't. Um, what? Well, I think I've shown you once before, but we're out in outer space right now. If you could, if you could hear me. Um, but there's all these stools. You see these stools here? Like the places where people can sit. If you look on the top of them. Um, Other planets? Like, well, some of them have like, like, you know, planetary looking kind of circles and things. But if you go to the one way back in the corner there and you look at that one, it looks like something else. What is it going to look like? If you look at the top of it, what does it look like? A baseball? A tennis ball? It's, it's the Death Star. The Death Star! Oh my god, I did hear that. I guess it is the Death Star. Yeah, that's the only one. Like Everything else doesn't have that. Ah, cool, babe. I do think I remember that, but I've never seen it. And on that note, it's chilly and it's getting a little later than we expected to be here. So I think we're going to start heading out. Actually heading to the gym after we head out of Epcot. Okay, you guys, so we are going to head out now, but thanks for coming along with us today. This was the first day of International Festival of the Arts, but we'll be back before it's over February 1st. Uh, I think it's the end of February, February like 22nd or something. So we have like a month and a half-ish or so. So, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be back. If you want us to do the scavenger hunt because they have, I think for the prize for the scavenger hunt, they have these little uh, paper statues of oh, like yeah. Mickey and Donald and Figment. And, they're cool. You know, I, I think it would be cool to have one of those things just sitting on top of my desktop at, at home. So yeah, we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll come, come back, back for a and couple. We'll do, that. Yeah. we'll do a vlog for um, the scavenger hunt, and we'll do one to try out the snacks too, because there are a lot of cool snacks that we would like to they try. They have four different uh, espresso drinks that each have like a different candy in it. I think it was M and M's and Snickers and Milky Way and Twix. And I that like, sounds uh, awfully sweet, but I like sweet. Well, we'll we try like, it all. We'll try one we'll of try those, it. But the thing is, like, I like getting a coffee drink and walking around and sipping it, but you can't do that now with the masks. I'm all fogging up. But, <laughs> we'll just have <laughs> to sit. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, you have to we'll sit We'll just have to sit it. down and drink yeah. it. It's cool. But, um, but, okay, you guys. So thanks again for your support, and we love having you with us. So if you enjoyed this vlog, as always, please click like. And to continue the journey with us, if you're not already subscribed and would like to keep following us, please click subscribe. We love having you guys with us. It's a lot of fun and we like sharing our adventures out here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So Sounds also fun. also feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and I'll leave my Twitter information at the end of this vlog. So it's Wes and John. A busy getting Disney. Over and out. Good night, Bye you guys. Bye. Night.